Dividing a polynomial by an integer or an expression is really just another way of simplifying. There isn't actually anything new to learn, you just need to be able to simplify numbers and know how to divide with indices. So let's jump straight in with an example, starting with dividing a polynomial by a number or integer. There are three simple steps to follow. Firstly, rewrite the question as a fraction and then split the problem into pieces by writing each term over the denominator and finish by simplifying each term. So 8a divided by 2 is 4a, 10b divided by 2 is 5b, and 14 divided by 2 is 7. Simple! We follow the same three simple steps for dividing by monomials too. Rewrite it as a fraction, then split it up and finish by simplifying. So 6 divides by 2 to get 3, x to the 4 divided by x squared becomes x squared, 8 divides by 2 to get 4, x to the 3 divided by x squared becomes x, 12 divides by 2 to get 6, and x on top divided by x squared leaves an x on the bottom, and 4 divides by 2 to get 2 on top, and the x squared stays on the bottom. So just take it step by step and you'll have no problems. Give these questions a go, pause the video, work them out and click play when you're ready. Did you get them right? So as long as you take your time to cancel down the fractions carefully, then you'll make no mistakes. If you don't believe we really can just break them up into individual chunks, then try it out with numbers. We can't divide polynomials by binomials in the same way though. For that, we need to do long division, which is a very different process. So to recap, to divide polynomials by integers or monomials, we just need to remember those three simple steps. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Comment below if you have any questions. Why not check out our Fuseco app as well? Until next time.